these paths out here in the Florida wilderness trails. Just go back to the jungle like that. And what a jungle. So, let's tell you where we're at. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. All wonky vids, Ant here with you. And today, we are at the Depu Depuis campground. It's just west of Jupiter and like Palm Beach, so a little bit southern Florida, right on the eastern edge of Lake Okeechobee, Florida's largest lake. So, I actually heard about this place from Lou, living our dreams now, and um, I got to say, these are one of the nicest free campgrounds that you will find here in Florida and anywhere. So, we're going to go take a look at it and see what it has to offer. Why don't you come along with me? And here we are at the Depuis Management Area Equestrian Campground. Now you need reservations in order to get a gate code, which I do have, so I'm going to put those in now. Yeah, so here is the drive into the campground. Got to check in with a campground host, so I'll try and find them and figure out where to go. All right. Now this is the non-equestrian camping. That's where I'm going to. Okay, just checked in with a campground host, Julie, and her husband is Ron. And um, they're very nice. I always like when there's um, a nice campground host when you're going into any campground. And there's warm showers, she said, in that brown building right there next to her. So, um, yeah. I mean, this is free camping and has warm showers. Can you believe it? All right, let's keep going out. She did um, other with checking in with a campground host. They usually give you like little tips on where you might want to camp. So she said, take this first left here. And then um, you have to find a little spot in between the two yellow posts, which designate it as the camping spot. And you just go down here and just decide where you want to be, depending on how close you feel like being to everyone and anything. So we'll go check one out here. Yeah, there's a lot of just open sites right here, as you can see. Okay, and this part here is next to the good bathrooms here so yeah the, the, the showers aren't really working in here she said but there are the bathrooms are good apparently and my campsite here at the depuis non-equestrian campground number three is site number 20. there's my little tent set up there and as always the faithful camp Rolla. I mean, you might be able to hear some car sounds right now. There are some big trucks that go down there, but I'm sure it won't be a problem at night. And it's really not too loud. And conveniently located next to flush toilets. And um, they do have showers in there, but apparently one is, only one is working in that building. And it's cold water only. But they do have hot showers in the entrance in the building that you saw on the way in. Where the campground host was. Yeah, nice clean, um toilets here, the restrooms at the Depuis campground, and this is free camping, up to seven days, nice. Yeah, this is just uh, one of many trails and stuff around this campground. I mean, we're only, it's just back right there in the distance, not too far. But yeah, there's also some other trails around here, and Lake Okeechobee itself is beautiful, so... You know, we saw the campgrounds and everything like that, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a little look around the place of where the Depuis campground is and explain more about the area since you already saw the campsite. So let's go for a ride.
are several areas where there are trailheads all around the Depewis campground right here on Lake Okeechobee. For instance, this is the Okeechobee Ridge Rafael Sanchez Trail that goes all along. Well, there's some graffiti on that sign, but it goes all along the edge of Lake Okeechobee. It's kind of overgrown though, so make sure you're wearing pants and looking out for like ticks or something. But cool if you like trail walking. There is this lakeside ranch stormwater treatment area. It's about 10 miles north of the Pewis campground. And um, there's vault toilets here and some trails going down here. Uh, here's a look at the little sign here. That's where we are. And there's all sorts of trails in this little area where they're reclaiming this stuff for wilderness. Recreational opportunities. Get in pause and take a look at that if you want. On the other side of this sign is some of the animals and wildlife you can see while out here. Along with um, what the South Florida Water Management District does out here. This is the Okeechobee Battlefield Site State Park. Here right on the edge of Lake Okeechobee, near the city of Okeechobee. Now this battle occurred after President Andrew Jackson authorized the removal of Eastern Native American tribes to the west of the Mississippi River back in 1830. And the battle here actually took place in 1837. As you can see, there's a lot of information here on this sign. And they actually do a reenactment. This year it's going to be February 25th to 26th. 2023 gates open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day for that reenactment so you can come here and see that there's just um, some bathrooms right there as well as a little picnic area there's only three tables and a grill and then um, this, this roof could use a little TLC but you know things happen so might be interesting here if you like seeing battle reenactment that's gonna be this year but this is the Okeechobee battlefield site yeah, so I've been staying at this campground the last few day, nights, and um, it's been nice, you know, it's been cloudy, it got a little cold, but um, tonight is supposed to get really cold, but that's fine, it's, it's January, what do you expect, even here in Florida? I did enjoy it here, and I gotta say, like, it's, it's kind of nice having flush toilets that are clean daily at a free campground. Pretty cool, and then they also have showers, a few were broke, but the ones by the, uh, the host check-in area were working, so... You can get a hot shower here too, and this is free camping. You just gotta go on the South Florida Water Management District site. I'm just gonna go and keep walking this trail for a little bit, see where it goes. Heard some coyotes out here last night. Let's hope we don't run into those guys. But anyways, you know, wildlife is wildlife, and I like it out here in the wild. Oh yeah. So, if you enjoy camping and like being outdoors, and then also like some nice amenities when you're camping, then you know what I say. The Buist Campground, 100% recommend. Oh yeah, and make sure you pick that non-equestrian, all right? We'll check you later again. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, it'd be nice to have you guys come on more adventures with me. So until then, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. See you on the next adventure. Peace. Peace.